Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, leçon C. And in this lesson we'll see together what we call les homophones. So it's actually quite interesting in that lesson. So we'll talk about words that you will write differently but then phonetically you will pronounce them the same way. And of course, they will have different meanings. Okay, so let's start now. And the first one is un air. Okay, we'll make this little link between the two un air. Okay, and here you've got the translation in English. And then you've got une air. Okay, so you can see that you write it differently, but then clearly phonetically it's the same une air. And this is the translation in English. Une amende. Une amende. And that's what it means. And then, une amende. So here you can see that the only difference is here you've got E and here you've got A. Okay? So, amende, amende. And the meaning is fine. We're talking he here about the nice little gift you will get if you break the law. Une amende. Une encre. Une encre. And then feminine as well. Une encre. Okay, so you can see here that the only difference is A here and then E here. Okay, so une Encre and une encre, it's the same. Un bar. Un bar. And then une bar. Okay, so you can hear that it's exactly the same way to that you pronounce, but then you've got R, R, and then E. Okay, une bar. Okay, so in that case it's this adjective, bon, and the meaning is good in English, okay, bon, all right, and here we've got substantive, un bon, un bon, un bout, remember final T not pronounced, un bout, une Bou. Okay, so here the only difference between the two is here you get T at the end and here you get E at the end. Une bou. Un but. Un but. Une but. Une but. Un sang. Okay, remember this G here doesn't exist, so un sang. And then here we've got this sang. Quite useful because it means without sang. And we've got a third one, sang, written like that, and it's hundred. Okay, so un sang, sang, sang. Un champ. Un champ. Un champ. Un champ. So here it's quite tricky because uh, if you look carefully, well, of course you pronounce them the same way because that's the, the, the topic of this video, but then uh, masculine in both cases. So, un champ, un champ. Un col. Un col. Une col. Une col. And that's it for this lesson. If you want more videos, then the channel is here on YouTube. And then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. Facebook.com slash imagier.net. And then the website is here. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 11, leçon.
D. And in this lesson, we'll continue with the lysomophone because actually I was thinking about doing four videos uh, concerning this topic. So remember, when we're talking about lysomophone, we're talking about all these words that we have in French that you will write differently, but then pronounce the same way. And of course, the meanings uh, will be different. So that's the reason why it's quite important to take a few minutes to try to see them and try to avoid uh, any mistakes. Okay? All right, so we'll start now. And the first one is un conte. Un conte. And here you will have the translation. Un conte. So exactly the same pronunciation, but then of course the meaning is different. Un conte. Un coup. And then un coup. All right, so you can see that you get this final P here, but then you don't pronounce it. And last, un coup. Okay, remember, accent circonflexe, you don't pronounce it. Final T, same thing, you don't pronounce it. Okay, so un coup, un coup, and then un coup. The same pronunciation. Une cour. And then we get the adjective cour. And after that, un cour. And then un cour. All right, so you can see that here you get the feminine, une cour. Then you get the adjective cour, un cour, un cour. Un cuir. And the verb cuir. Okay, so un cuir and then cuir. Une date. Une date. So it's quite interesting because in English uh, it's written the same way. Okay, so in that case we're talking about the fruit. So une date. Okay, and here une date. So 31 janvier, for instance. Une date, okay? Une eau. And then the adjective, eau. Okay? Une eau, eau. Une fin. And then, une fin. Okay, so phonetically the same. Un fil. Une fil. Okay, so don't try to, uh, well, don't mix it with uh, une fille, okay, because you get the double L, but in that case you get only one, so une fil, okay? Un fil, une fil. Lait. Un lait. Okay, so the only difference is the final thing here. They don't pronounce it. They you don't pronounce it. So phonetically, you only have this lait. Une mère. Une mère. Un mère. All right, so mère, mère, mère. All right, in both cases. Here you've got the feminine form, and then here it's masculine. Of course, it could be feminine as well because uh, mère can be ladies as well. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. That's the channel. And then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. And then more material can be found at the following address. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon E. And it will be the third video that will cover this topic, les homophones. So remember, we write them differently, we pronounce them the same way, and they have different meanings. Okay, so that's the thing. Um, it is the third video, so the next one will be the last one covering this topic. Okay, so let's start now. Un maître, 
and so you will have the translation here un maître and then un maître as well okay so un maître and un maître same pronunciation un moi and then moi me okay so un moi and moi un mur and the adjective mur okay so un mur and mur un nez Né. Ok, so un né, un né. Un nom. Non. Un nom, non. Un pain. Un pain. Right, un pain, un pain, un père, une paire, père. Okay, so in that case, we're talking about the numbers. All right, so père. So here, un père, une paire, père. Une patte. Une patte. Ok. Une patte. Une patte. Une paume. Une pomme. Ok. So you can see that I pronounce them a little bit. Uh, well, a little bit different, differently, but then uh, we'll be careful that in many, many cases people will pronounce them the same way, okay? Because in that case, normally it should be a bit lower, pom, and then here more open, so pom, okay? Une pause. Une pause. Okay, so une pause, une pause. All right, that's it. Uh, if you want more videos, then the YouTube channel is here. And then like me on Facebook. I will be so happy. And if you want more material, then it's here. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 11, Leçon F. And in this lesson, we'll finish our big thing with lesomophone so it's the fourth video covering this topic uh, remember lesomophone we're talking about words that uh, are pronounced the same way but written differently and of course the meaning is different okay so we'll see 10 of them uh, in this video so let's start with the first one une peau and here you have the meaning in english une peau un peau Okay, so, une peau, un peau. Un point. Un point. All right, so you can see that here. The only difference is the final letter, okay, but then they are pronounced the same way, and both of them are masculine. Un point, un point. Un port. Un port. Okay, exactly the same thing here. Only the last letter is different. You don't pronounce it, and then both of them are masculine. Un port. Un prêt. 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 Okay, so it's quite interesting here. So you get un prêt, written like that. So in that case, it's a substantive, so word, noun. And that's the meaning. Then you get 
pré, like that, so final s, but then of course you don't pronounce it, and here, pré, so the adjective, okay. Une roue. Roue. All right, so une roue, and then roue. Salle. Une salle. Okay, so even if you get the double L here, it will be still the same pronunciation as this one. So, salle, une salle. So, in that case, it's here, it's an adjective. Un saut. Un saut. Okay, so, un saut, and then the same way, un saut. Sur. Sur. Okay, even if you get this accent circumflex, you don't pronounce it, so you get the same pronunciation, sur and sur. Une tente. Une tente. Okay, so it's exactly the same pronunciation, even if you get a here, here, and e here. Okay, and both of them are feminine. Une tente. Un toit. Toit. Okay, so in that case, we're talking about moi, toi, lui, elle, so we saw that a long time ago. Okay, and then both of them are pronounced like toi. Un toi, toi. And this is it. If you want more videos, then the YouTube channel is here and it's waiting for you. Like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. And then the website is here and it's waiting for you. www.imagier.net Have a great day. Bye-bye.